welcome back again and today I'm working on a 2011 Chevy Camaro now this is a six cylinder I think it's like a 3.6 or something like that but we're gonna replace the spark plugs so I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough of all it takes to redo these spark plugs it's a pretty simple job surprisingly um, no need to take off the intake on this one so let's just get so right to start to off it. we need to take this plastic cover off um, it's really not much to it all you gotta do is pop it out almost the only thing holding it down is going to be the oil cap so you got to unscrew your oil cap take it off and then you should be able to just pop this straight up and towards you and just move it out of the way um, and then replace your oil cap just so you make sure that um, you don't get nothing in the engine or anything also just in case you guys didn't know this is your um, your uh, radiator cap right here I remember I kind of had a friend of mine give me a call a couple of weeks ago he had one a Camaro just like this one and he couldn't find his radiator cap of course he has a cover right here but he just couldn't see it you're used to seeing it somewhere around here but that's where it is just in case you guys didn't know our uh, next thing to do is remove this um, heat shield right here it just has these little clips here looks like this one's broken so all I'm gonna do is get a flathead screwdriver there and pop that clip out and then you just move right, down. So here it is. Took off the heat shield. Really not much to it. Just that plastic clip right here. Um, you got to get a flathead screwdriver right in the middle and then pop it out. And it comes right out. Um, the only thing we got to have to remove is this vacuum line here. It's going to go right here to the valve cover. So it's going to pop it out. Move it out of the way and then move it out of here also. And then on this side, all I really need to do is take off this 10 millimeter bolt that goes right here. I think this is the perch solenoid valve for the evap just gonna take that off so I can have some wiggle room here and then all the coils are right here you got those six coils right there um, the piston order is one two three four five six just in case if you guys were wondering um, but to take off these coils all you need is a 10 millimeter bolt right there and then as far as the connectors all you gotta do is press on this tab here and pull it down that's it so I'm gonna take off all the 10 millimeter bolts I believe on this um, coils the 10 millimeter bolt is actually kind of connected or it doesn't come off with a coil so all you're gonna do is loosen them up and it comes all together with the coil so let me get started on that and then right, I'll so show here you here we go guys like I said I took out that vacuum line right there I removed the bolt from here and going ahead and disconnected this right here just to give me some wiggle room kind of move it a little bit out of the way um, not not too much because these lines are actually hard so you don't want to crack them or anything and just take off all the 10 millimeter bolts right there um probably the one i had the toughest time with is this one right here which is piston three i believe um because you can't get the ratchet up through the top so i mean it was just went in through the side and took it off with this racket ratchet but that's it all the coils are off um the coils the bolts did come off separately from the coils all the coils are right there so now I'm just gonna remove the spark plugs this is a uh, 5 eighths to remove the spark plugs I'm gonna remove them all replace them with new ones um, these are the ones that the parts department sent me um, they didn't have any acidelco so we need them right now so we have some NGK's 9117 we replace them with this I'm um, going to check uh, factory specs as far as the, the spark plug gap and just double check that um, that these ones are up to specs but that's it guys I'm going to replace all the spark plugs back in also whenever you're taking out the spark plug and sorry when you're putting it back on don't over tighten it the best way to gauge it as far as how I do it um, is just kind of look at the pressure you're using to take it off and you use the same amount of pressure or strength to tighten them back up but that is it guys that's the, basically the process on how to replace your spark plugs on a you know newer body style Camaro uh, this is actually a 2011 uh, six cylinder I think it's at 3.6 I'm not sure but there it goes guys I really hope, the, hope this video helped somebody out don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will catch you guys in my next video thank you for watching